This could be go terribly wrong because I just had a NyQuil to overcome my cold. And I know that normally the moment I take the NyQuil, I get this boost of energy and then I fall asleep. So I thought to myself, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go live <laughs> before the NyQuil actually kicks in. And we're going to talk about the market crash because the market crashed last, well, last week. And I know some of you guys have been panicking. And um, also tomorrow, we are doing the whole week of Start Building Your Wealth Challenge. If you're attending, oh my gosh, congratulations. We're going to have five days of geeking out on money, increasing your income, wealth creation, investing, how to actually make money in this environment. But I'm just super excited because I was going through the content. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share every, like to just get things started earlier. If you're kind of curious about what it is, obviously you can go to um, yourwealthnow.com, grab your tickets. If you're not VIP yet, you guys, you need to get VIP because even if you can attend one day out of the five days live and ask one question, that could literally make up for all of your investments. So that is what's going to be happening tomorrow. But before that, one of the biggest questions I've been getting in the past few days that the markets have been crashing is like, okay, Kiana, that went from zero to $5 million in the past year. Well, I didn't go to the whole zero to $5 million in the past year. It took me a while to figure it out, but I did go from a million to $5 million in the past year, which is absolutely crazy. So people are like, okay, how does your portfolio look like now? The market took a hit yesterday. Um, are you still up? Are you still at $5 million? And the matter of the fact is that actually our group portfolio grew. And it is not because my investments grew. So this is what happened. What really did happen is that um, I had set buy limit orders because we were foreseeing a little bit of a pullback in the markets. And my buy limit orders went through. What is a buy limit order? A buy limit order is when you say or you tell your broker, hey, once we hit this price at this asset, please buy me some. And you go about your day. And my buy limit orders went through. So basically, I went bargain shopping. Now, the second question I asked is that, okay, but I already invested all of my money. I don't have any money to invest. How many guys have that problem? that you understand that, okay, now is the time to buy because the markets are pulling back, but you don't have any money left to invest. Put a yes or put a Y in the comments here to tell me if that's you. If you, oh, let me see if I can see the comments over here. We are live, by the way, all over the place. We're live on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'm seeing all of the comments all over the place. So a lot of you guys have the same problem that you understand that the markets are dropping, you want to buy, but guess what? You haven't got your bonus. You probably, maybe you don't even have a job or you already spent all of your money during the Black Friday, like Christmas shopping, and you don't have any money to invest and you have real FOMO going on. How many guys have real FOMO going on? Put an F in the comments if you have FOMO. Like, oh my God, fear of missing out, right? So, and I was that person, you guys, I was that person. It's funny because during the pandemic, uh, once the markets crashed, I was like, oh my gosh, and just start buying. And I was so lucky at the time that I had just attended an event, which taught me about increasing my income. And I took everything that I learned in this event about having side hustles and creating offers that create value for other people so that you can increase your income and then you can invest more. So I had attended that event literally in February 2020. And I put together some of the frameworks that I learned in that event, applied it. And I immediately started making some money. And that is why I had money to invest when 
coronavirus COVID happened in March 2020. I made a bunch of money. I put into investment, bought the dip. That's exactly how really my, my portfolio started growing, right? And, and then the markets went up. And I'm like, oh my God, this is absolutely mind blowing. So that's why I'm teaching this. I know a lot of you guys have been having, having this question that like, oh my gosh, like obviously you didn't make all this money investing. No, I didn't make all the money just by investing. I did it first by increasing my income. And by the way, I apologize for my voice. I've been uh, uh, overcoming this really, really, really nasty cold in the past few days. And I have taken a NyQuil. So I don't know, I think in about 10 minutes, I may fall asleep. So <laughs> bear with me. So um, but that's what we're going to talk about. But the beauty of this whole thing is that you actually don't have to work harder than you already are in order to increase your income. Because actually, let me ask you a question. How many of you guys are like super busy and are working so hard? Put an H in the comments if you are like just so busy. You probably you could be parents, you can have a nine to five job, you could be Uber driving, you could be doing volunteer work, but you're working very hard. Put an H in the comments. We're getting all these H's in the comments. And so what if I told you, and I, I used to work like my butts off, right? And what if I told you that you don't actually have to work hard? to increase your income. What if I told you that? Did you know that like money literally doesn't even care how hard you work? Like we see all these people, they're just like laying back, doing nothing and make millions of dollars. I'm not saying like, don't do anything. I'm not talking about trust fund babies. I'm talking about stop focusing on the hours that you put in. Because oftentimes what's really crazy is that the best solution is the simplest one. Unfortunately, when we go to school, we are rewarded for making things complicated. Like if you're studying math, if you're studying physics, if you just get to the answer, the teacher is going to punish you saying, hey, show me how you did it. They want you to overcomplicate it. So when you see something that is like the answer and it's just like it's right there and it's simplified we just immediately like our brains like okay this this probably is not correct because at school i was taught that things need to be more complicated for them to be true or to work so our brain has been taught has been trained to shut down simple answers but guess what happens when you get to an elevator let's say with elon musk and they say what do you do if you try to overcomplicate things and do the elevator pitch in like, let's say five hours, Elon Musk is going to be gone. He's not going to be listened to. Shark Tank is going to be gone. They're not going to listen to you. So at school, we were taught, oh, complicate things. Show me exactly how you got there. But when you get to business, when you want to pitch a venture capitalist, what happens? They say, hey, tell me in five, in like one minute or less. So it's like absolutely counterintuitive, right? And it's because our education system all over the world, I actually studied in Iran and then I went to Japan. Every country in the world is the same. They teach us to overcomplicate things. But in reality, the answer is actually very simple. The answers are actually normally simple. So what if I told you that you need to stop working so hard? I mean, is that good news? Right? So what we're all told about like working hard, right? So at school, we did work hard. We did get a good education. How many guys went to college and like got a degree? Put a C in the comments if you got a degree. And <laughs> I got an electrical engineering degree. I actually have two of them and I have a Japanese degree. So this is like my wall of all my degrees. Seven years of studying has never made me a, well, it did pay me like, I don't know, like a thousand bucks before I got fired. <laughs> I got fired, right? But how many engineers do you know who are broke, who are doing all the work? And how many nurses do you know who are broke? How many like lawyers? Like lawyers is like has this massive high status. But if you don't know how to do business and you're a lawyer, you you ain't got no money, right? 
case. So that is was it. I rest my case right, right over here because college degree without actually knowing how to make it work or how to make money isn't going to make you money. And working hard isn't going to make you want money. I am going to dive a lot deeper into why that is like the essence, why like putting your actual muscles into work isn't going to make you more money. Uh, in the Start Building Your Wealth challenge that we're going to start tomorrow at 11 a.m. for VIP. So if you don't have your tickets yet, definitely, you guys, you need to go to yourwealthnow.com. Get your VIP tickets because we are going to be blowing your mind. But um, so far, what I've been talking about, telling you is like literally kind of contrary to what you've been told all your life. Like your parents told you, okay, work hard, work hard. Your teacher told you to work hard. Everybody said, hey, they're lazy. You got to work hard. But what if I told you, and you probably already know this, it is not about working hard. Have you guys know in the comments, put in the comment if you know what I'm talking about. It's about working. It's the S word. Let's see who knows in the comments. I'm going to take a look at the comments. Who got it? It's not about working hard. It is about working smart very good on tiktok we have desert dryasten very very good angel here is asking angel here is asking what if you can't attend, attend live sessions for the vip i'm telling you even if you can't attend only one day of vip i would 100 recommend that you get the vip because if you can ask me one question like one really good question and what is a good question by the way a good question is a question that you can't Google. Like, don't come into the VIP asking me questions that you can, like, go on Google. I don't want those questions. I want, like, strategic questions about, like, you, what you are doing with, like, your personal situation so that I can actually help you. And no, we are not going to share the recording for that very reason, for privacy reasons, because everybody who comes to our community and asks your questions at VIP, we want to respect your privacy. We do not want to share the VIP recording. So we're not going to share VIP recording. The general admission is going to be recorded. We're going to share the recordings for 24 hours. But VIP, even if you can attend one day, I would 100% guarantee they're going to get so much out of it. It's going to be worth your investment. Anyway, so going back to working smart. Congratulations for those of you who got the answer when I asked. Um, and somebody here on Instagram says sex sales. Well, six months sell, but what about me here is really sexy, Mr. New Age Thoughts. New Age Thoughts, wink, wink. Sex may sell, but here I am, congested from a cold, sir, and taking a night call before falling asleep, trying to give you information. So please behave or leave, all right? Okay, so anybody who's trying to like, this is not the community we want to build. Here on TikTok or Instagram, or if you're here on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, we have you. If you're here to be misogynistic, to talk down to me, to not take me seriously because of my looks or what have you. And by the way, yes, I am having a filter on on TikTok and on Instagram because it was like, ah, eh, it makes me look better. So I'm like, ah, it might feel, make me feel better. But full transparency, and I do have makeup on right now. But if you're here to put me down because you think you have a misogynistic issue that you think that because of my looks or whatever that you is going on in your head, I may not be qualified to talk about, well, then, then please leave. You can go and tune into CNBC. No offense. And by the way, you may see me on CNBC, CNBC as well. So there you go. That was my rant. Let's get back to <laughs> working smart. And I know you've heard of this, this before, but in today's context, working smart means getting involved in something that will give us active income. Active income. What's active income? We all have talked about, or you've probably heard about passive income. I don't get how many guys have heard about passive income. Put a P in the comment if you have heard about passive income. What's passive income? Put a P in the comment. Passive income is when your money works for you. We gain passive income when we do value investing. That is what we talk about. That is what we teach in the Make Your Money Work For Your Power course. We're going to teach in our master class. And it is great. But what happens that you don't have money to make it? You like cannot make the money you don't have work for you. Whereas that has become a very big issue for many of our students who are like, okay, we got it. Okay, I'm putting my money into work, 50 bucks per month, but it is not getting anywhere because yes, you need more money. So that's what we're doing this challenge. Talk about how to increase your income, create active income so that you can then contribute that to your investment portfolio and forget about it and let it work for you. That is the T in building a wealth 
ecosystem. All right. So, so when you get involved in things that create active income, then you get to the point that you can get involved in things that give you tax breaks. It gets, I'm talking about getting involved in something that will create passive income without any effort. So what I did after, so after, um, literally like after COVID in 2020, that my wealth literally went from a hundred thousand dollars that I had built, you know, or like really busting my butt off and grinding with my investment accounts got to a hundred thousand dollars. But then I suddenly went from a hundred thousand dollars to five million dollars. Why was that? Is because I figured out a way to create an automated active income. So I'm going to say automated, automated active income. So what is that? How many guys have have been on Investiva.com? I'm curious. If you've been to Investiva.com, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So right over there at Investiva.com, we have something we call it the masterclass. It make, is the Make Your Money Work for Your Masterclass. It's free training. And put a Y in the comments, by the way, uh, if you've actually taken my free masterclass. Um, and um, you've been you've taken my free masterclass, right? So you guys, this masterclass it is full of value. Um, but how many guys notice that it is automated? Like we do have live support team that are answering your questions, but it is absolutely automated. Like it took me a while to actually set it up and figure out like, you know, how to integrate it with, you know, Facebook and YouTube and all the things. But once I did it, it has absolutely it's been running on its own for a year, creating books, buckloads of cash <laughs> that has enabled us to increase our team members, has enabled me and our team members to contribute more to our investment accounts, have enabled us to give more to charity. And I kind of thought it's like given, I was like, okay, I went to this event and I learned about it and I felt like everybody was learning about it. Turns out not many people know about this online thing going on that can actually create a massive amount of active, automated active income for you on a monthly basis that they can then take and put it in your investment account and then let it compound. That literally the past year, the reason why I've been able to go from a million dollars to $5 million is that. And I was like, you know what? What if I teach people how to create something like that turning their passion, something that you guys know already, they actually love talking about it. They actually, you know, people actually come to you to ask about it. And it can be literally anything. Like I've seen people making millions of dollars selling cookie recipes, creating real value for real people online and put it on auto, get the money and put it on their investment accounts and voila, like, financial freedom and the markets are crashing and I feel like there is no better time for you to at least get started in that trajectory in that route of increasing your income so that no matter where the economy goes if it goes up down left right what ha whatever happens if we're going to get into a war with Russia or China things that are quite possible to happen the beauty of being in an online business is that it is international. So you can hedge. You can hedge and can create actual real value for real people in real time automatically. So how many guys would like to get involved in a program like that? How many guys are passionate about something? And actually, a little bit of a disclaimer over here. Oh, my God. I'm, I feel like my fever has come back. Oh my gosh, I'm like burning over here. So my fever has come back. But um, we are talking about creating passive income, Buri and Drox on TikTok. So if you're interested in getting involved in the program like that, like literally that is what I'm going to be laying out in the next five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and answering your questions at the VIP, all you need to do is go to yourwealthnow.com, your wealth, your wealth, Y-O-U-R, W-E-A, 
L T H N O W dot com. If you're on TikTok or on Instagram, the link is also on my bio. You have to go click on the link and you can see two buttons. One of them is the free master class, which is how I'm making my money. And then the second one is a challenge. Go get your VIP ticket and um, I'll see you tomorrow. But one thing that I do want to mention also is that we have all this fear going on that we could get into a war. New version of COVID is coming out. Bitcoin is crashing. Like the world is falling down as we're getting into 2022. But how many guys really would like to be in a position where you can be financially independent, regardless of what is going on in the world? First of all, I want to know how many guys are kind of scared of what is going to be happening in 2022. Like put an S in the comment if you're a little bit scared of what's happening of all the dooms day announced that they're hearing in the markets. Put an S in the comments. If you're not scared, that's absolutely awesome. Oh, somebody's... Oh, okay. Some, some of my team members are responding for me. And so... Okay, we're getting a bunch of S's here. So how many of you guys would really like to be in a position where you can be financially independent? Like, think about this. Like, our world, like we went from World War II, like no matter where you, you were born or you, where you are, we, we, you have probably gone through some sort of political, political turmoil in your lifetime. Like, put a P in the comments if you've gone through some sort of political turmoil in your lifetime. And the problem is, like, we learn about money from our parents who they had their share of, you know, political turmoils and, like, misbeliefs and lies about money. And then they passed those mindsets, they passed those money beliefs to us. And then now that is how we are making decisions, right? So tell me in the comments, who taught you about making money? Like, did, did your parents teach you about it? Did your um, teacher, professor ta- teach you about money? So, for example, I remember one of my professors in Japan. So I went to the University of Electrocommunications in Tokyo. And I had this professor. Uh, my research was on radar systems. And every time I brought up anything about money, he was like, nope, you're not. You're an engineer. You're not allowed to care about money. We are scientists, as if, like, they're, like, mutually exclusive. Like, a scientist cannot care about money. In Iran, literally, when we were in fourth grade, we had to, there was this like famous essay. How many, how many Persians are here in the chat box, by the way? So we had this like Persian uh, essay that we had to, uh, the headline, the title is, um, which one is more important or valuable, science or wealth? As if like we had to choose, and we knew as students that we had to choose science as if they are mutually exclusive. I, I wonder, like, okay, we have new found uh, Talebi. I pre- I- I'm assuming you are Persian. The title of that essay was En Behtaras Yo Servat. En Behtaras Yo Servat. Which one is more important, wealth or science? And we had to choose science, otherwise, we would get an F. So that those are the people who like taught me about money. Like, okay, you're not even allowed to like think about money. Money is not a very noble thing to talk about. How many guys like think if you talk about money, if you're transparent about how much money you make, it is not that noble. Like it kind of brings down your status, right? Even like even some rich people and like they don't want to share how much money they make because they're scared that it's gonna bring down their status. Oh, I don't care about the money. Oh, really? Oh, you don't care about the money? Oh, really? Oh, is that why you go to work every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., work your buns off, you don't spend any time with your family? Oh, you're not in it for the money. Oh, if you lie about that, you lie about other things. (laughs) Right? So we were told, though, we're not like we shouldn't talk, we shouldn't care about money. So the problem is that we've taught about money from either our parents, our teachers, or the media who kind of shames rich people and money. And now we have the Gen Z like talking about, oh, eat the rich. I mean, I don't, don't, even if you eat the whole rich, it's not going to change your life, dude. There is enough money for everybody on earth to have more money and enough money to spend left, left over. 
Like there is money is like air, literally like air. My coach, Myron Golden, I don't know if he's watching right now. Myron Golden says, <laughs> like, okay, he does this literally. It's like, okay, what am I doing right now? I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath because I, I wanna I wanna save some some air for you to breathe. Isn't that stupid? That's exactly the situation <laughs> with money. And by the way, the guys are like, she's broke, don't listen. That's fine, dude. Like, I don't care if you don't want to listen to me. Like, go Google my name or something on TikTok, dude. Um, but um, if you don't want to listen to me, that's fine. Go listen to your dad or something. But money is air. Money is exactly like air. The Fed can literally print money out of nothing. Bitcoin came around and is valued now at what forty thousand dollars, even at the dip, out of nothing. Money is like air. How can you believe me? Millionaire underlying style is asking. Go Google my name, and if you don't want to believe me, don't believe me. That's absolutely fine. I'm just here talking like a maniac. <laughs> it's all right if you don't believe me, but um, I have made money, so you can Google my name. Actually, the the by the so in Business Insider had a report on me. Um, after I made my first $2 million, since that article came out, uh, my net worth has actually grown to $5 million. So, um, that is what's happening and I'm sharing my knowledge. And if you think that I shouldn't be sharing my knowledge and, or if I'm just like saying things, whatever, but I, I don't care if you don't want to listen to me, just leave us fine. <laughs> I don't care. There are people who, um, have listened to me and have had made a bunch of money because of it. But um, it's okay to be skeptical, though. Like, I'm not here. Like, there are a lot of imp impersonators of mine out there, like, pretending to be me. And it is okay to be skeptical. When you're skeptical, you know what you should do? You should Google. So Google my name. My name is Kiana Daniel. Or you can Google Investiva. You can even, I think if you Google Kiana Daniel net worth, it will show my net worth as of August 2021. And now my net worth has gone up to five by five million dollars. And the reason why is because I created an automated active income, and then I take that income and I contribute it to my investment portfolios to create passive income and compound. And that's why I have money to invest during market crashes. And that is what we're going to cover during the next five days at the Start Building Your Wealth challenge if you don't have your ticket yet you gotta go get it at yourwealthnow.com get your vip ticket because i'm going to be answering your questions it's going to be live on zoom and um even one even if you can attend one day and ask me one good question that could change your life forever i i'm from what we heard from people who attended our last challenge it was absolutely worth it so go ahead uh, 517 local says I have my VIP ticket. Whoop, whoop. I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to answer your questions. And by the way, for those of you who already have your VIP ticket, your homework is to come up with a good question to ask me tomorrow. What's a good question? Good question is a question that you cannot Google. Like, don't ask me, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like what's the best broker? Like the best broker. Okay. I'll tell you that question, but that's Googleable. Like I want, I want, I want like questions that have like real meat into them. Like you know about your personal situation. Like what is the best way? Like what is the best way to create active passive income? I'm gonna cover that anyway. But then as we go through the content, um, you're gonna have more questions that are related to your situation and that you cannot Google. And those are the kind of questions that we can um, we can answer. Uh, Nick, Nikki Moore is asking, are you doing your active income now? I am. So it is an automated webinar that just literally just makes money on its own. Like I literally do not have to work anymore at all. The reason why I'm doing it is because I've become obsessed with our students. We have now over, over 3000 students, um, paid members in the power course. And then they were having this problem of not now they know how to invest, but they didn't have enough money to invest. So we were like, okay, how can we help you more? So we decided to teach them how to make more money the way that we are making more money and increasing our active income and automate it. And we do that by turning your passion into a cash machine. 
So my goal is to help you find your passion. No, I'm not a financial advisor. My goal is to help you and hashtag not financial advice. We're actually talking about entrepreneurship right now. So we're going to, I'm going to help you to, if you don't know what your passion is, we're going to help you find your passion, right? And then you're going to be able to turn that into an automated active income so that you can then get that and put in your investment account and create passive income, contribute to your investment account, right? So we were talking about, okay, who taught you about money? So you probably don't want to listen to them. I mean, actually, the people who taught you about money, well, were they broke? Because <laughs> if you're learning from somebody who's broke, you're going to learn their ways. Go find your, even if you don't trust me, that's fine. But my recommendation for you would be go find somebody who is doing what you want to do, that you actually trust them, right? Like, okay, you might not trust me. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. There are so many other coaches who have achieved financial freedom and they are willing and they are generous enough to share their wisdom with you for a profit because otherwise, like, why would they? Like, if anybody gives you anything for free, I don't know. Like, you got to ask yourself, why are they giving this away for free? It's exactly like a surgeon. If a surgeon doing heart surgery <laughs> at a 95% discount, like, you don't want that surgeon because probably something is going on, right? So go find somebody who is legit, who has done what you want to do, who has achieved what you want to achieve, and pay them a premium to teach you their ways because that is the only way they can actually get ahead in life, right? So that was my rant for today. So we have 30 minutes. <laughs> um, but let's do talk about, let, let, let's see if we have any good questions. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> if, okay, so this is the problem. Because if you do it for free, people are not going to, if you're cheap, people are not going to actually believe you if you say you're the best. If you're cheap, people are not going to believe you if you say you're the best. If you're the best, people are not going to expect you to be cheap. Right? Do I like Bitcoin? Yes, I do like Bitcoin. I actually, my buy limit orders just went through. I have more buy limit orders for Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about it. And I literally wrote the book, Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. Oh, for those of you who are like, oh, she poor, don't listen to her. I have written four books. My fifth book is coming out on January 9th, by the way. It's coming out on January 9th. But my two other books that were bestsellers are Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies and Million Dollar Moms. You can find them on Amazon or on their website. So, hey, Diva, what do you think about XRP? So XRP is one of the cryptocurrencies that I invested in early. And the reason why I invested in it is because it's completely dependent on Bitcoin in the sense that, you know, Bitcoin is all about decentralization and being a value asset for XRP is what was one of the earliest projects that um, uh, kind of worked its way into the banking system. Oh, and by the way, did you guys know that banking is kind of becoming debt? Like I have friends who are like this millionaire hedge fund managers, but it is not looking good for them. And I, I kind of have a feeling that it's because, you know, I, us retail traders have gone into the market and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is kind of taking away the business from them. So that is going on. That is why I invested in, in XRP because they helped um, business to business intermediate ba banks um work it together and they're already uh they're still there so i'm still invested in them i haven't sold yet uh i am mom mom mama rabbit i'm a mama rabbit says i just want to say i think you're great thank you so much joel says i i wish i could say and hear you out oh my gosh please join the start building your wealth challenge we're going to be hanging out tomorrow for five days. It's going to be absolutely transformational. We're going to talk about, we're going to kind of knock down all of your money belief systems. We're going to teach you how to increase your income, increase your influence, how to make more money so they can invest more. And we are going to also talk about investing. So there's going to be five days of full value. Make sure you get your uh, tickets. Go to yourwealthnow.com. Let me take a look at the um 
comments here on Facebook, YouTube, and all right, you guys on Facebook, there are some impersonators of mine who are commenting. They are me. This person, Kiana Daniel, who sends congratulations due to the upcoming Christmas, what have you. That is not me. Please check on Facebook. If it doesn't have my verified blue check, it is not me. Okay. And TikTok is the only place I don't have a verified blue check. And there are a lot of impersonators that are taking advantage of you guys. But on Instagram and on Facebook, I'm at Kiana Daniel, D A N I A L. Uh, and on Instagram, I'm Invest Diva, I E I N V E S T D I V A. And it has a blue check mark next to it. All these comments you're getting on Facebook saying congratulations, blah, blah, blah. I'm here. I'm talking to you guys. I am not there commenting. That is not me. Please do not click on that link. The place that you need to go, if you want to go directly to the source, I'm here. I'm talking. This is not like a deep fake or whatever. This is me. This is Kiana. Go to yourwealthnow.com or just go to investiva.com. They're both my links, my URLs. Do not fall for my impersonators, you guys. It has been absolutely ridiculous how these impersonators. Uh, Sorry, I was in the middle of. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> oh my gosh, one of my team members just uh, started talking, so I lost track, but uh, on Boxer. So <laughs> Jackie just joined Instagram. And um, uh, anyways, you were talking on Boxer, and um, then. I had to click on it and on TikTok, I kind of got paused. Anyways, Jackie, hi, how are you doing? So we are getting to the end of this. I think my fever has gone up like three degrees at this point. But to recap, you don't have to work hard for your money. You need to increase your income so that you can take, take advantage of the market crashes. And do not fall for my impersonators, the people commenting on Instagram, on, on Facebook, who are saying Romeo Petit PM me now, please don't private message them. That is not me. That Kiana Danielle, who is commenting on my Facebook, is not me. It's a scammer. Please report them. Okay. There are WhatsApp impersonators on TikTok. Yes, there is apparently on TikTok, there is this person, um, what's their name? Like, have a different name like real something something and they have all of my they have blocked me so i can't see them to report them and then um they have all of my videos uploaded they have like twelve thousand followers and anna o'neill or something like that and they are scamming people on whatsapp so i do not operate on whatsapp my only legit <coughs> um website is investdiva.com learn.investdiva.com and uh, for the challenge, you need to go to yourwealthnow.com. That also actually redirects to investiva.com. So yourwealthnow.com is a URL that redirects to investiva.com. So always check the website. It has to have, it has to redirect to something investiva.com. Otherwise, as a scam, as an impersonator, they're going to pretend that they're me and sell you something. Um, <coughs> Yes, I should be in bed. Seriously, you're right. I am going to I'm going I'm going to go to bed. I had a night call about an hour ago, so I think it's starting to kick in right now. And again, you guys, tomorrow I'm going to take a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we're going to bring on the energy in the VIP for the Start Building Your Wealth Challenge, and we're going to kick it off. We're going to transform your life so that you do not have money problems 5 years from now. That is our goal. So again, you know what to do. I'll see you tomorrow. And if you have any questions, all you have to do is to um, email support at investable.com. If you have any like feelings or doubts that is this a real Keanu or not, just email support at investable.com. Ask them, is this a real Keanu or not? Is a training recorded? The general admission will be recorded. The VIP session is going to be live. We're going to be ask, a, answering real questions. And for privacy reasons, because we don't want to give away your privacy, we're not going to share the recording. 
even if you can attend one day of the VIP, I would highly recommend that you do it because it's going to be worth your investment. If you can ask one question that can change your life, because we talked about this, things are often simple. Like you might just get one answer that's going to like be that needle that needed to be moved in one direction that's going to completely change your path to wealth. So 100%, please get on the VIP and um, we're going to hang out. We're going to have a lot of fun. All right, you guys, have a nice night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to go end this here on TikTok. We're going to end this here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.